Aloha Ohana, my name is Chris and that's right, I called you family because we're all family here. In Hawaii there are so many cool things to do and I want to know what sounds fun to you. So let's play Would You Rather. Two options are going to come up on the screen. If you would rather do what's on this side, hula this way. And if you would rather do what's on that side, hula that way. Okay. Here we go. Would you rather go swimming with dolphins or sea turtles? Both of those are great. And did you know that the Hawaiian green sea turtle is the largest hard shell turtle in the world? Some of them are four feet long. I mean, that's taller than some of you. Okay, time for the next one. Would you rather eat Hawaiian shave ice with pineapple syrup or grape syrup? You really can't go wrong with any flavor of Hawaiian shave ice. Well, maybe except for pickled mango. Okay, how about one more? Would you rather build a sandcastle or do the limbo at a luau? That's a tough one. I like building sandcastles and doing the limbo at luau's. Speaking of luau's, there's one happening right now. Get up on your feet and join me. Go ahead and take your seat, Ohana. Let me tell you, luau's are only the beginning of all the fun we're going to have today. Family Challenge. All right, we got the compliment battle. You ready for this? I am. All right. We're gonna take turns going back and forth, giving each other compliments. I'm gonna go first, and then you're gonna follow. You ready? I am. I'm gonna crush this. We'll see. I like how you take out the trash before mom even asks you to. Oh, really? Well, I love how you always help me with my math homework when I'm struggling. Ooh, okay, I see how it is. Well, you know what? You're the best basketball player I've ever met in my life. Really? Well, you are the best piano player in the world. I mean, I try. You're so kind. And you are crazy generous. <gasps> okay, fine. You're really helpful. And you... Uh-huh. You Spit it out. What uh, is it? I can't even think of one. You're just so good at giving compliments. Oh, that was a compliment. 
Honoring your family is a big deal because God says it's a big deal. But what does honor mean? When you honor someone, you treat them with respect and kindness like they're special, and you love them like you love yourself. Putting the needs of your family over your own needs is one way to show honor, but it doesn't always come naturally. So let me show you how one woman honored her family thousands of years ago. Her name was Ruth. That's me. And Ruth lived with her husband and his family in a country called Moab. Unfortunately, Ruth's husband and her husband's dad died, leaving her and her husband's mom, Naomi, all alone. I'm going to live with my family in Bethlehem. You should go back and live with your family in Moab. Please don't make me leave you and go back. Where you go, I'll go, and where you stay, I will stay, and your people will be my people, and your God, my God. Ruth respected Naomi and truly cared about her, so she didn't want to leave Naomi all alone. And I don't know what Naomi had taught Ruth about the one true God, but it must have been special enough to make Ruth want to worship him instead of the fake gods her family in Moab worshiped. So together as a family, they moved to Bethlehem. Fortunately, it was harvest time when Ruth and Naomi arrived because they needed some food. Let me go out to the fields. I'll pick up the leftover grain that the workers left behind. Yes, daughter, go ahead. Ruth worked very hard from morning to night, and it just so happened that the field Ruth was working in belonged to Boaz, one of Naomi's family members, and he was a very important man. I'm a very important man. One day, Boaz visited the fields and began speaking to the workers. He noticed Ruth and heard about what she had done for Naomi and how hard she worked. Hey, please stay here and gather as much grain as you need. No one will bother you here. And if you're thirsty, feel free to drink some of our water. Why are you being so kind to me? Well, because I've heard so much about you and how you have honored Naomi. May the Lord reward you for what you have done. When Ruth returned home with plenty of food for her family, Naomi was so happy. Our Lord continues to be kind to all people. Boaz knew that he should protect Ruth and that she should become his wife. So soon, they were married. Ruth and Naomi were now part of a safe and loving family. And they were both amazed at how God had turned their sadness into joy. Their lives had not been easy since their husbands died, but God brought them to a better place than they could have imagined. And before long, Ruth and Boaz had a baby boy named Obed, and Naomi was happier than ever. Ruth, Naomi, and Boaz show us what it looks like to honor your family by showing respect, kindness, and putting others first. So what can you do to honor your family? Do you need to pause the video games and help your dad when he is bringing in the groceries? When your little brother is sick, can you do his chores so he can rest? Can you celebrate what your sister got for her birthday instead of being jealous? How about making your mom breakfast in bed after she's had a hard week? There are a lot of small things we can do to honor our family. And when we do it, it shows God how much we love and honor him. How to make breakfast in bed. Step one, think about what they like to eat for breakfast and what will be easy for them to eat in bed. Step two, make breakfast and try not to make too big of a mess. Step three, deliver their breakfast with a smile on your face and then take their dishes when they're done. Serving up breakfast in bed is a great way to honor your family. Surf's up. Everybody get on your feet and let's ride some waves. Watch out because there are some crazy things coming our way. We'll need to jump or duck as we ride to make it safely to shore. Quick, 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 quick,
love all the treats we get on vacation. Me too, and this is my favorite kind of gum. Hand it over. Okay, here you go. You mean, you're gonna let me have the first piece just like that? Yep. Well, why? Usually, you make me ask in a kind of voice and use the magic word. Yeah, I know. Well, why are you doing that? Because I'm trying to honor you, bro. Are you sure you're not trying to make up for something you did that I don't know you did? Oh, wait a minute. You took something from my nest, didn't no, you? No, I promise. I'm just trying to honor my fam. Mm-hmm. We'll see about that. I can honor my family, and so can you. You guys know that, so say it after me. I can. I can. Honor my family. Honor my family. See, we can all do it. Oh. Mm, this gum is so good. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, Pono, how did the bubble gum cross the road? I don't know. How? On the bottom of the chicken's foot. <laughs> Vacation can be fun, and sometimes it feels easier to be a family when you're away from home. But being a family isn't always easy, and God knew that, so He gave us some instructions in the Bible to help us out. You can find them in the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 10. That's where it says, love each other as brothers and sisters and honor others more than you do yourself. Hey, that's good stuff. Let's put some motions with it to help us remember it. Say it with me. Love each other as brothers and sisters and honor others more than you do yourself. Romans 12, 10. Now, here's a song that will help you remember it. Get on your feet and sing along. our father, good, good father, and we're all his sons and daughters. We are brothers, we are sisters, we are family. We can always stick together, though we're different from each other. We are brothers, we are sisters, we are family. We're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. And God loves me and God loves you. In His family, there is room for our brothers, for our sisters. We are family. Let's forgive and get along, cause together we are strong. We are brothers, we are sisters, we are family. We're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. We're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. Perfect, but you'll see that we are family. We're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. Let me tell you about the time I had to spend a whole weekend at my stepbrother's baseball tournament. I really, really don't like baseball. I would much rather be at home playing with Barbies and listening to music, but I didn't have a choice. My stepmom had to work and my dad and stepbrother had to go to the baseball tournament, so that meant I did too. My dad packed my sketch pad, colored pencils, a book to read, and even a few Barbies. But after the third game, I was B-O-R-E-D bored. I was ready to let my dad know and drive him crazy until he took me to do something fun. But then I remembered what God said about honoring our families. I didn't think it would be very honoring to drive my dad bonkers, so I went and made a friend with another little sister who was there to watch her brother. 
at the end of the tournament, my stepbrother got a huge trophy for winning the whole thing. I've never won a trophy, and I started to feel a little jealous. But when I saw my new friend cheering on her brother, I thought that would be a good way to honor my brother too. So that's what I did, and it felt way better than being jealous. Afterward, we went out for a pizza and ice cream to celebrate. What I thought was going to be a long, boring day turned into a not so bad day after all. No matter what my family is like, God is my father. He is always with me. He will always love me. I can be a part of his family forever. Aloha again to all my ohana. I've had so much fun hanging out with you and learning new ways to honor everyone in my family. Let's see if you can remember a few of the things you've heard today by playing surf or swim. In today's Bible story, what was the name of the girl who showed honor to her husband's mom? If you think it was Rachel, stand up and surf. But if you think it was Ruth, stay seated and swim. If you're swimming, you're right. Now, everybody take a seat. Ruth showed honor to her husband's mom, Naomi, and Boaz showed honor to both of them. It was honor all around. Okay, if you're walking into a store with your family, what would be the most honoring thing to do? Hold the door for them or walk in first? If you think it's hold the door, let me see you surf. But if you would walk in first, sit down and swim. If you're surfing, you know how to honor your family. And now you can go ahead and take a seat. Okay, here's one last question. What should you do when someone in your family is being rude and not honoring you? If you think you should still honor them anyway, let me see you surf. But if you think it's okay to be rude back to them, sit down and swim. If you're surfing, then you know that even if others are being rude or unkind, you can still show them honor because part of showing honor is treating others like you want to be treated. Okay, if you're still standing, you can take a seat. It's been real fun hanging out with you today. And before you go, let's all bow our heads, close our eyes, and pray together. Hey God, we honor you because you are great. And we know that you want us to honor our family too. Will you please help us to do that each day? We love you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, Ohana, do your best to honor each other this week, and I'll see you next time. Aloha!